Good morning, everyone. This is the Monday of the holidays. This is the first of our five passages that we're doing. I'm combining all three into one, and this is Tullus Hostilius, the third king of Rome. If you remember, we just had Romulus, the warrior, Numa, the lawgiver. Numa mortuo, with Numa dead, ablative absolute there. Tullus Hostilius, Rex Creatus Est. Tullus Hostilius was made king. We've got there, then, the, uh, the Rex Creatus Est. We have the perfect passive there. So with Numa dead, Tullus Hostilius was made king. Hic ferocior etiam. This, as in this man, etiam fuit, was, this might sound silly, but don't forget this word fuit as an alternative to erat, meaning was. Lots of people do, and they think that it's fio or facio, and um, yeah, don't get that wrong. So this man was more ferocious, was even more ferocious than Romulus. Bellum cum albanis primum ortum um, est. So war was first made with the um, with the Albans. Don't call them Albanians. Um, very different. So this is that people from Alba Longa. Um, so war ortumest first arose. Deponent verb ortumest with the Albans. The Albans and the Romans cupi werent wished decernere to settle the struggle over the kingdom with a battle parcorum virorum of a few um, of a few men. Forte in utro exit cutu erant trigemini fratres. By chance, in each army, there were triplets. Trigemini fratres. Um, there were triplets. Dispares. Um, so I suppose separable neither by age nor widibus. Please, please, please remember this word. Very, very important. Nor by strength. Nothing to do with men. Everyone muddles these ones up. The Harati and the Curati. These were Albans, those Romans. Trigemini. Uh, the triplets, having been chosen for this battle, Capions took up their arms and proceeded in medium, into the middle between the two Achaeas, between the two battle lines. The two armies, Erecti, having been drawn up and anxious, intendant, focus their animos, their, their minds, I suppose, upon the show. Signal dato, ablative absolute, having given the signal, Terni, the... Uh, the three young men, or the sets of three young men, concurrent, clashed. Tullus Hostilius, primo B, primo congressu. In the first clash, in the first battle, <coughs> sorry, a bit of a cough, um, in the first battle, the two Romans, or two of the Romans, interfecti sunt, perfect passive, were killed. Something very difficult here, it's too easy, this bit. And tres and three Albans wounded. Eum qui integer fuit. So now, this is slightly more difficult, I suppose. Now you've got to find your, well, go for your main verb, conati sunt, deponent verb, so they tried. Nominative plural, you look for, because it's third person plural. So the three curati, conati sunt. The three curati, conati sunt, tried to circumstare, to surround, eum, him, or he, who was safe, who was unharmed. Shall I just say that bit again, because it was quite difficult. So there... You've got to find your main verb in any Latin sentence. You've got to find the subject first. You do this by finding your main verb. Always want to get the basics right. So, you start off by saying, find, where's the main verb? Conati sunt. Third person plural, deponent verb. So, we're looking for a nominative plural. So, curati is nominative plural. Tres curati. The three curati, conati sunt, tried to surround eum, that one, qui integer fuit, who was safe. Cum jam Romanus. <coughs> now, when the Roman had fled a little while, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, respected, he looked back and he saw the three curati, sequentes, present participle, following at a little distance, sequentes, present participle. Suddenly he stopped and he made a charge on the nearest of the curati. While the army was begging the curati to bring help to their brother, in direct command there, <coughs> Horatius killed him. Then, with a great shout, the Romans helped their own soldier, and he hurries to finish the battle, Briusquam. Before the third consecutus, I suppose, came to the rescue, or got near, Horatius killed the second of the Curati. Jamque, it's quite exciting this. And now, I suppose each was surviving, one each was surviving, but Pares, equal, neither in hope nor widibus, there's that word again, nor in strength. Remember, weird, weary, second declension noun, meaning man, where we get virile from, but vis, viris, 
third declension noun meaning strength. Alter, one, was safe and ferox and ferocious from his superioribus, from his previous victories. The other, defesus, I suppose, um, weakened by his wound, fractus, PPP, perfect passive participle, broken in spirit, came into combat. Nec illud proelium. And that was not a battle. That was not a fight. Vix, so look for your, again, let's get our basics right in this last sentence. I'm glad I wasn't coughing all the way through it. Go for kaidit. There's our main verb, third person singular, so we're looking for a nominative singular, and that makes it Horatius. Horatius, kaidit, killed. The curati, vix, scarcely lifting up his weapons. And spoiliate, and plundered. We're going to see this later on with Turnus and Aeneas. And plundered him, present participle, Jacques Entem, lying on the ground. Very well done. I hope that you are having a lovely break, and I'll get the next one then as soon as possible.